he that begun the good work in you will perform it to the day of Christ, revealing you to be in Christ, in your spirit, eternal. Think of Proverbs. 1814, the spirit of a man will sustain his infirmities, but a wounded spirit, who can bear? God bore it to his son. And your spirit had been wounded time after time after time throughout the course of your single life. Because you went with your second religious mind. It wounded your spirit. They had all the answers. The totality, the wisdom and knowledge of God is hidden in your spirit through the mind of Christ, the same mind that was in Jesus and the mode of a son of man in your spirit. He will sustain you. He's the one that borders pains. And your spirit has been wounded no longer can be wounded. Because you yield moment by moment those things that come up in your carnal, fallen mind, sacral or religious, the flesh. You begin to live out your spirit. That's to life. We have fathers of our flesh that we listen to and obey, right or wrong, calling them father and wounding our spirit that knew who its father was. Oh, God, forgive me. But the many times I've wounded my own spirit. Thank you, Father for healing me in spirit and for bearing all those wounds to the saving of my soul and renewing of that soul to this mind of my spirit to the precious name of Jesus and all that that name represents. Thank you. Amen.